No. How'd you get in here? Chrissy. I snuck in. This is like old days, gangster days in L.A. Yeah. Heavy. My man. Chrissy. Oh. Say hi to my friend Clay. Uh, Clay Buckholz. How are you? That's, Good to see. Boy, the that's teeth a teeth look time. so shiny. Teeth look so Who's shiny. Look better? Who's look better? Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys get a Clay's. group on in those two for one? Well, I only could afford eight. As you know, Clay got 39, and Lackey got 72, and Freddie Freeman got 97. That's my friend Scott Cynthia. We go Big Easy right there. What up, Big Easy? Okay. Uh -huh. God, I love it that you guys are doing this on the golf course. What hole are we on? We're on number uh, 13. We just birdied 13, and we have a par 5 number 14, and it'll be, uh, yeah, 574 yards. So we have a chance to go back-to-back. -back. We like streaks. Okay. Well, if you have to hit at any point during this Instagram Live, please don't let me, uh, you know, ruin your round. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Not at all. That's, that's perfectly well said. We'll go up here to this next tee box, but let's continue on with this wonderful thing. You look amazing, by the way, with your beard. Thank you. I kept it for you because I think I'm going to ditch it pretty soon. I have to be honest with you, but I knew that you were coming on today, so I figured I'd keep it for you. Yeah, you look amazing. If, if, did I move? Did we just start freezing? No, you're good. fine. You're fine. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. I'll just let everybody know that today's Instagram Live is presented to you by our good friends over at Foco.com. Foco.com slash John Boy. If you use the code word John Boy15, you get 15% off your first order. And I know my man 1-5 loves that. So they'll gear you up for the baseball season. It's going to be great for the second half. They'll get you some cool stuff. I got something I'm going to show off because we're going to be talking about the Philadelphia Phillies momentarily. But I want to start with what happened on the north side of Chicago last night. Javi Baez with the walk-off against Amir Garrett. We know their history. Did you have a problem with the way that Javi celebrated? No, no. This is the thing. This is the new generation. The history that goes back all the way to 2018. If you start sweeping guys off, and I love me some Amir Garrett and the passion he brings. But on the flip side, when it goes this direction, uh, yeah, that's what happened. So I thought I thought the way Javi buys, you felt the passion, the energy, mm -hmm. the, yeah, let's go. And it's not like he doesn't know that this isn't one of the toughest guys in the big leagues. He knows that he almost attacked the Pittsburgh Pirates, you know, the whole entire team back in Cincinnati. So – it, it, it's what this game's about. The passion, it's must-watch TV now. And, and, and if you didn't love it, then really you're not a fan because you know the history of it. Yeah, I mean, now here's the only thing I didn't get. What was the canoe paddle thing he was doing at the end? Because it wasn't like he swept the series. I, I didn't understand what that was. Uh, something that something went on back in the day, right? Whether it was a sweep, sweep, or get off the field, Rizzo, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Did. There's something, and this is what goes on in the clubhouse, Rosie. Guys talk. Guys know. Guys know what's going on. And then you know, you put these little check marks. I remember I did that to K Rod, a long time ago. He's striking guys out, doing that nasty slider with the Angels. I said, one day I'm going to get him. Now I got him. I was in Baltimore. It didn't matter. We were 27 games out of first place, but it was just <laughs> my little six year check mark. I'm going to get him. That's not, dude. You gotta throw on some glasses or something. Your eyes are bugging me out right now. Is it just a beautiful? It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful eyes. Look at this group real quick, Rosie. These are my friends. This is Jimmy. So we got a Hi, little Jimmy. Instagram live right now. Hi guys. Thank God we know the group behind us because you know what? They're nice gentlemen. We're gonna let them play through until until we get done here. And we we actually went in front of them the first time. Hook them. Oh my gosh. Are you sure you don't want to hit your drive or something? I mean, I would love to hit my drive. If you don't mind? But I'm just gonna hit my drive. Clay's gonna go and film this real quick. I'll hit one okay. real quick. Do it. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to let everybody know that uh, Javi Baez will be back in action. Oh, this is great. Okay, Guys, no, where do we think this ahead. thing's going to go? This is, a, uh, this is a crazy Instagram live. Let's see what we got here. Yep. It's a good All swing. Right. No, it's pretty much perfect. All right, Rosie, we're set up. We're set up for a nice chunk, a chili dip, and a bogey. Perfect. I love it. I, th I think you're great. You're great. I I'll take care of you. I'll be your caddy. I'll get you uh, tomorrow on the uh, on the second nine or something. All right. So uh, let let's move to one of the bigger series that we're going to have. Dodgers Giants for the second time in the last week. This time the series is up in the Bay Area. Dodgers trail the Giants by two games. Remember last week, Kenley blew back to back games. He's had yes. a really tough season against San Francisco. Will that continue to be the biggest headline in this series? Yeah, I think that obviously there's concern there, right? I love me some Kenley. You love me some. You love some Kenley. He has saved some remarkable games over the years for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And Big Easy's, I like calling Big Easy. 
he's going to blow some saves too. The problem is, is you don't want this to become a factor. He's had a great year. He went through that little, little lull where he had three appearances that weren't great. And then if you do it against the rivalry giants, and that's what makes it great though, Rosie, is when the rivalry team is good. The giants are good now. So now you could say, Hey, Dodgers giants mean something. You know, we've been talking about Padres giants. I mean, Padres Dodgers since the beginning of this free agency, no one said a word about the giants. All of a sudden, they're good. You blow a game here and there, and you're kind of thinking, they're not a joke. So mm -hmm. those are situations where, listen, Dodgers are very smart. They understand. Do they add some arms? Yeah. They, 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 they obviously are going to address some weaknesses and some holes. And starting the season, you thought the Dodgers were way better than everybody else. A couple way injuries better. here. Belly goes down. May goes down. It kind of gets weird. Seager goes down. And now it's all of a sudden the Giants pitch, pitch, and hit home runs all of a sudden. So, yeah, it, 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 it's something that I don't think they're going anywhere. All right, so Kenley in seven games this year against the Giants, 0-3, four saves, an ERA of over 14. We know what happened last week. Obviously, that's going to be a, it's going to be a deal. But for me, you know what the biggest story is? Cody Bellinger does not have a hit against the Giants this year. I think he is 0-27, for 27, which I, yeah. I think it's probably been the biggest story that's been swept under the rug, Kev. Since 2019, Cody Bellinger has been a below-average player. What happened? Yeah, man. It, 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 first of all, he's a tremendous player. Now, the struggles that you see get magnified because the injury, now he's in a buck 50, and all of a sudden we all, you know, we all see this, this, is it the human, what happened, oh, this and that. He'll find it. There's a lot of stuff in that swing. There's a lot of stuff timing-wise in that swing. But it's alarming because to win a World Series, you need guys – to have those career years, if not be at least up to par who they are right now. Right. With Betts and Cody and these situations going on, when Seager going to come back, and they're still a little bit – they're not way better than everybody. Right. All right, what are you hitting here? Three wood, 254, playing 275. We're going to go up there and go for it. Okay. And then we're just going to keep our head behind the ball. Now, that was definitely four right. It should hit safe, hopefully, Clay Buckholtz. Uh, nope, we hit the car path off a cedar tree. We're back right, potentially a bogey, like we said, from the middle of the fairway. Chris, back to you. Do you have lunch planned? Why are you playing so fast? Do we have what? Do you have lunch planned or something? Are you trying to make a, a lunch date? You're playing really fast. Yeah, it, it's not a good look back here. Okay. All right, listen. For me, the Giants have been the greatest story. I told you that Farhan Zaidi had a huge decision to make about four weeks ago. Do we go for it? Do we step on the accelerator? If they don't go for it this week and go get themselves one or two bona fide arms, maybe an extra outfield bat, then they're letting their fan base down. I want to see them go for it. At the beginning of the year, I was like, hey, it's a cute little story. It's not going to – they have been awesome. They've been the best story in baseball. It's been them and the Boston Red Sox, in my opinion. Pretty cool. Plus the Seattle Mariners. Uh, let's move on to the Philadelphia Phillies. Yes. Huge walk-off win against Brad Hand and the Nationals. Kutch with his eighth career walk-off homer. Do the Phillies, who trailed the Mets by just three and a half games there in the NL East, do they have to make a move this week? Yeah, you have to because this is that one year. It's kind of like your central over in the American League. I mean, you know, you sit back and you look at all the kind of things that's moving around, but this is the year you go for stuff because we just talked about it. Nobody's better than anybody. There's a lot about there's about eight teams that you're like flip a coin and you can't tell me they're gonna win the World Series this year. Of course it's easy to lean on the Dodgers, they're gonna get grown and then, yeah, but really there's a lot of clubs. Oakland could win the World Series this year, you know? Giants can win the World Series this year. Clayton pick that up. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself or whatever it is. But that's the great part. So if you honest to God are trying to win a World Series this hey, is hold the year on one because second. Did, did you just have him pick up your ball? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just put it down. We can leave it there, Clay. Believe me. What? This is where this is where the shot went. It went around these cedars. And Don't you, aren't you supposed to play it from where it lands? Yeah, yeah. But Rosie, I was so passionate about this giant conversation because it's what makes this game wonderful. Is that anybody can win? And once you do a look over here in the woods, you shouldn't be over here anyway. You just kind of take off and you go back to you. Oh, I love it. I love it. See, by the way, if I'm the Phillies, I have to make a move, in part because they're a veteran team, right? They rely on Bryce Harper, Reese Hoskins, JT Real Muto, Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah, their starting rotation is still pretty young, and their bullpen needs a lot of help still. 100%. If you're close enough to first place, what are you waiting around for? Do, do you know that the Phillies have the longest playoff drought going in the National League? The longest Yeah, one. that's crazy. 
That's crazy when you see it. And you look at Kutcher, you say he's got 18 home runs doing his thing. And they have enough mojo offensively, but but yeah. bullpen Rosie, and they've been like that. You know, they've had a bad bullpen. They need to figure that out. And it's you can say that with every team. I mean, let's be honest. You can sit there and go, can you add bullpen? How many times do you say Craig Kimbrell's name, right? He's got a great ponytail. He's the same guy. He looks amazing this year. But every team can use a Craig Kimbrell. Yeah. I mean, Dave Dombrowski has pulled, pulled the trigger on deals in years past. Let's see what he does now that he's in Philly. And speaking of the Phillies, I told you about, about Foco.com. You know, they celebrate with the straw hats. So I've got, I got me one, and you can do this too. Once again, Foco.com slash John Boy. Use the keyword John Boy15 to get 15% off your first order. How do I look in this? You look amazing. You're ready for the boat dock, Chris. See, that's what Steve Young wore the first time he came to our house. Looked like he was catching butterflies. Remember, he didn't want that sunblock. But vitamin D is not bad, just a little bit. You're definitely not going to get vitamin D on that. Dude, can I tell you, look how tan I am. I've spent a significant amount of time in the yes. uh, in the outdoors this year look at how tan i am you're really and you know what tan does like tan fat is better than what white fat non-tan right? fat i know yeah because I, when you're white and you get see all the obliques when you get a little tan and sunburn you don't see the obliques that's why we wear dark shirts chris as you can see the obliques are cool <laughs> yeah. you look good michelle even no. said the other day she's like kevin looks good he's been it looks like he hasn't been eating as much see here's the one problem though with the tan See, on my ankles, see this? Oh. My, yeah, yeah, I've got the golfer sock tan. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's that looks good. Proud that's of you. Proud. All right, uh, let's move on. Trey Turner, his name came up yeah. in trade talk yesterday, which was a little weird. So he's not a free agent until after the 2022 season. So I'm going to give you three scenarios. Yeah. Trey Turner gets traded by the Washington Nationals either this week or in the offseason. Trey Turner signs an extension with the Washington Nationals, or Trey Turner follows Bryce Harper out the door from Washington and ends up elsewhere by a big name free agent. I think I think Rizzo's smart. I think that he signs an extension with the Washington Nationals. I think Trey Turner's a star in this league. I think he's a very underrated star. It reminds me of Xander Bogarts. You don't you just don't get he doesn't get the attention that he that he deserves. Yeah. I know he's had some Chris Rose. Chris Rose. Yeah, no, sorry, you, coming, you went through a bad cell area there. Oh, now we lost him. See, this is what happens when you when you follow rich guys onto a golf course. It happens. But I'll pick up what he was saying about Trey Turner. He compared him to Xander Bogarts, who's a guy who signed a six-year, $120 million deal, which actually feels kind of light if you look at it, compared to what Lindor got, 341, compared to what Tatis got at 340. Both are great players, particularly Tatis, who's just, you know, hammering everything these days. And so – you know, if they get Bogarts for six years, or they get Turner for six years and 120 million, that's a bargain. He, he's not going to come close to that. He's going to be a 200 million dollar player. There he is yeah. again. Hi, hi. So I, I was just saying, I loved your comparison to Xander Bogarts. They're not going to get him for six years and 120 million, which is what Boston got, which is a really cheap deal for a great player. Yeah, he's he's a star. And so I think you have to sign this kid long-term. Rizzo knows that. Nats know that. But he does everything on that baseball. He's got some finger problems and some freaky little things. But runs, power, defense, great guy. Got to sign him. Yeah. All right. Uh, last one before we get out of here. Uh, I saw on your Instagram story last night, you had a little daddy-daughter uh, night, which I thought was really cute. You and Kylie and Karis were all going to get ice cream at a place called The Yard. The problem was you showed up and the lights were turned out. I don't know if they're trying to fix the place or whatever. Why didn't you, as a responsible father, check to see if the place was open ahead of time? It, it, it was a brutal deal, bro, Rosie. Brutal, okay? We ate all of our dinner. We ate all of our food to go have a milkshake, and we get up there, and their service. They said they're servicing what? It was closed. It was a bad deal. We ended up at a popsicle store, so I paid four bucks for a popsicle. Well, you could have saved all the trouble, and if you just typed it in on your phone ahead of time to see if it's open or closed, you would have found out it was closed ahead of time. You let down your daughters. Yeah, I didn't realize how bad the reception is out here on the 15th hole. Well, that's that's my apologies. This is a, <laughs> usually we get great reception, Rosie. 
<laughs> You're all good. You're all good. Hey, listen, before we get out of here, I want to let everybody know that my minor league hat of the day is the Columbia Fireflies. They're the single-A affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. We'll leave you a little shopping mark in our uh, little book of contents on our YouTube channel. So listen, dude, I, it was great to catch up today. I hope you can hear me. Go tell Clay and the rest of the boys to keep hitting them straight. It was amazing catching up with you. you do you have intentional talk today with Steven Nelson? All right. We got IT today, brother. I can hear you, okay. but I can't see you. Okay. That's all right. Don't worry about it. You can check out Kevin Millar and Steven Nelson. They're on like three times a week. I've been checking out the schedule. It's been a little up and down because they have so much day baseball. But I love you, brother. Thank you so much for filling in Love today. you too, bro. And uh, tell Gina and the kids we say hello, all right? All right, pal. Thanks, Rosie. Appreciate you, bud. There he is, the one and only 1-5, Kevin Millar, hanging out with me today on our Instagram live show. It's great to catch up with him. People have been wondering a lot of stuff, like, do you guys still talk? We talk all the time. We text all the time. We hang out all the time. We just don't get to do shows together all the time. But thankfully, I found a great home here at, at John Boy Media. And uh, Kevin knows that, too, because he's been watching. He's been dipping in and out, uh, just like he was today on the golf course. By the way, I imagine he'll shoot about 79, and he'll tell me he triple bogey the last hole or something. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did today. Uh, quick reminder, latest Rose rotation dropped today. Trevor uh, May and Dom Smith, teammates with the New York Mets, some amazing stories. There's already one out there on social media about how Dom Smith pissed on his own phone when he got out of an airport off of a plane. It's amazing. He's really funny. He's laughing throughout the entire show. They've got great stuff on the polar bear, uh, Pete Alonzo, and a bunch of other things. So go tune into that and everything else you catch on uh, John Boy Media. Don't forget our Home Run Derby piece is out. If you haven't caught that from Denver, go check that out as well. And I will see you again tomorrow. Trevor Plouffe will be back from his palatial vacation in Cabo, where he's been sludging it, I'm sure. All right, guys. Hope you had a great day.